Collins, I be Everyone, welcome to the channel. Another episode, Total Noob Fishing. So we are at the uh, end of January, kind of the coldest month of the winter, and we're facing the winter blues, and I am looking for something to do to keep my sanity. Now, most fishermen during the winter months, if they're not freshwater fishing, they use the winter time as a great opportunity to start um, fixing up their gear, organizing their gear through tackle boxes, you know, cleaning, lubing, taking apart reels, rods and reels. So I'm in my basement at my project desk and I've decided to um, pimp out and jazz up and paint some jig heads. Now, um, I picked up these, I think this is a two or three ounce jig head at a fishing flea market for I think I might have paid a dollar or 50 cents each and uh, also I have um, a hand-tied bucktail that someone gave me this might actually be a five ounce so I like to fish shad bodies and bucktails a lot during the season uh, for bluefish striped bass obviously and I try to jazz up my jig heads a little bit i just for me i think it's a confidence thing i think it makes a difference there's some schools of thought that feel that maybe bait fish uh, i'm sorry predatory fish zone in on the eyes or i mean look ultimately i can put this shad body on here just like that and it would be fine but really just trying to keep busy so for pennies in my opinion uh, i'm going to show you how to do that with stuff either around the house or something you could very inexpensively pick up at your local hardware store to make this jig head into something more flashy and uh, special and maybe even differentiate you from if other people are pitching uh, similar jig heads so let's get started basically you need some type of paint it really doesn't matter what type of paint you use I don't care if you use uh, an acrylic paint for some hobby around the house spray paint is best I'm just going by what I had I didn't go out and buy anything special I mean if you've got a basement and you're semi handy and you probably are if you're a fisherman I'm sure you've got some paint laying around so this is rust-oleum doesn't matter what brand it is this can was I think two dollars and fifty cents at Walmart I had some plastic dip sitting around doesn't really matter so you need some kind of paint and obviously you need a jig head and then the last thing you need the last two things you need are uh, epoxy now JB weld costs about three dollars and fifty cents at Walmart as well this is an epoxy this is the one minute one the five minute one's a little bit easier to work with because it doesn't set up as fast uh, but basically we're gonna paint the jig head cover it with epoxy and that's why the type of paint you use doesn't really matter and that should keep the paint protected no matter how much uh, crashing into rocks or bluefish bites you get and I also do one extra step I just go on to Google eyes or eye patterns and you can print them out and you can just add an extra little added flash or sparkle or pimped out you can put these on the jig head as well and then epoxy the whole thing and you're good to go so I'm gonna show you how this process works get started on it and uh, we'll go step All right, step one take your jig head painters tape duct tape scotch tape tape off the hook you don't really need it even for the um, plastic jig head holders you can just paint tape that off you don't need to paint that I also like to tape off the eyelid um, I see no reason to paint that white I don't want to add anything that could potentially be abrasive or not smooth and round so I'm gonna tape that off as well step one super easy all right so for step two I've moved the party outside and uh, I'm gonna spray paint it if you don't mind the fumes I guess you could do it in the house but I'm gonna do it out here
nice coat. I'm gonna hit it with two coats. So we're gonna let this one dry. I'm gonna hang it up and uh, we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, if you get a little bit of runoff, it'll just drip off. All right, we're back indoors. Here we go. Two coats of spray paint. <laughs> Run of the mill white spray paint. And uh, now I'm gonna cut some eyes out. These are the eyes I printed off of Google. Now if you take the jig head after you just kind of recently painted it, I don't know, this has been drying for about 20 minutes, you can just kind of wet your finger, touch the back of one of the eyes, just kind of orient it on the jig head where you want it. That looks cool. Push it in and it'll stay. Do the same thing for the other side. And then we're going to mix up the JB Weld and basically paint coat a nice shiny epoxy over it. That'll lock in the paint, seal in the eyes, bring a little bit of sheen and luster to the uh, jig head. Let that dry overnight and you will be in good shape. Alright, here is the final step. Jig head. Drying. Pretty much dry to the touch. Two coats of spray paint. Here's JB Weld. This is the five minute one. Uh, so it doesn't set up as fast. We're going to mix it in this paper plate. It comes with a little popsicle stick for mixing, and then here's just a cheap brush I found from one of my kids' painting sets. Uh, you can get a little brush like this from the Dollar Tree, you can get a, probably a pack of ten, or heck, you could use anything. You could use the popsicle stick, you could use a Q-tip, you could even use your finger in a rubber glove. It really doesn't matter. We're not trying to paint a picture here. Just wanted to get it on in a nice, even, thin coat, so I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, mixing this stuff up. That doesn't really matter what brand you use. It smells horrible. Grab your paintbrush, glaze it on, that's it. We're not painting the Mona Lisa here. Before, after, quite a difference. Again, I think it just jazzes it up enough that um, it uh, might be the difference to uh, uh, differentiate your lures from others and also like it'll protect the paint it just got a little bit of a pop to it once we add a shad body on there that'll look awesome all right anyway thanks for uh, watching it is the winter doldrum so there's not a ton of content but remember to like and subscribe and uh, the spring season is right around the corner